now ground beef three simple ingredients to make a very tasty um well rotel some people call it white rotel but i call it sausage dip okay sausage dip okay now slow down sausage dip mm -hmm. y'all know me y'all know my taste book y'all know what i like to use but of course you can use regular instead of hot sage i definitely suggest that when you're making this please use one sage it makes a difference and um we got the mal we have the hot i like to i always say use mal it's not spicy to me it's just better than using a can original which is sitting in water you know a little mm, you know we need a little season in the can if you're going to use anything out the can so but regardless use whatever you need and then the philadelphia cream cheese is a must this is my mom tip when she makes cheesecake she always used to say do not bring me anything off brand because i need philadelphia cream cheese to make sure it tastes perfect and i have tried it and she's right so just take the plug so you don't embarrass yourself okay sometimes of knock off and but look but but get whatever on sale at the end of the day because you see your girl okay um with this type of dip they do suggest that you eat it with fritos all right we got the big scoop okay because we need to scoop up the meats okay but of course we got to do it for the culture mm -hmm. and then as always get what's on sale but the hint of the line really work well with this dip as well three simple ingredients it's not going to break the bank okay because now you know we even can't make regular rotel now people looking at you like you don't know how to do seafood rotel what, what, what's out in your rotel so we fancying it up of course we ain't going to get away with the original because that's our roots but we always can you know add a little extra you know what i'm saying showing that we are forever evolving as a culture all right so let's get going and i'll show you how everything works together very simple cook your sausage don't cook it on high because you're going to burn it a good medium medium high and uh, here is my other swift tip when you're cooking a sausage you're going to need some pieces to have a crust on it okay see the whole entire everything is not but some with that brown color this is what's going to enhance the flavors this is what's going to make it taste really good we don't want no beige meat <laughs> all of it can't be y'all get what i'm coming from i'm trying to see if i okay here go one piece right here like okay yeah it's cooked it's done okay but we don't need everything to be burnt we don't need everything to be crispy we need that balance and having some pieces some pieces oh my gosh so the way we cooked our sausage, there is no need to drain. What's left in here is nothing but flavor. And this is going to boost everything that we add on top of this. So now what it's time to do is grab a microwave safe bowl. And we're going to put our meat in first. Open up both of our cream cheese. I'm doubling the recipe just so it could be enough for today and tomorrow. Okay, no matter who comes by and need their to-go plate. Okay, so this is going to go at the bottom. Both the cream cheese, we're going to open them up. Put them down on top and then we're going to add two of our rotel but one of the rotel can you must drain completely but i'll show you that the rotel. this is where it can get tricky this is where your dip can be watery this is where you can fail so let's pay attention <laughs> you got to drain one of these completely now i'm used to this i know what i want i know how to do a half half mixture and still have the right consistency of water but i'm telling you just like if you say okay i'm just gonna do exactly what 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 slip is doing okay i'm gonna use the hot i'm not really a hot person well you gonna drain all this water out of this uh hot one okay drain it drain it i don't care if it's two times just to make sure it's so pretty much just one okay one liquid is gonna go in here so we're gonna dump this right on top Oh, yeah, I see this pretty color. Look at this. I'm just a foodie presentation. But there you go. We dump both on top. You see this? There you go. Let's try to see if I can get down low. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now, this is the fun part. I'm telling you, I have tried. I did this on top of the stove. It is no difference. Actually, it's a little longer. Put this in the microwave for five minutes, okay? And I'm going to show you how it looks. And I'm going to tell, trust me, trust me. Just watch the comments. Because it's like a group of people 
who rave about this, who ask me to make this all the time, who's about to fall out their seat, about to pull their hair out, and realizing how simple it really is. Here is that liquid. If you use two, you're gonna have liquid up to here. Yes, no, no, what is going on, okay? This is nothing but flavor, okay? That's what you need. Um, you know, it's the liquid that make the cheese milk, okay? Just like the regular um, Velveeta soap. This is what we're doing. And I'm gonna stir it up and let you see. Okay, let it sit for a couple of minutes and it's gonna thicken up and voila, y'all. So yeah, very simple, follow the spiff tip and you're gonna be weekend ready for any um, get together, girlfriend hangouts, okay? So get your man, girl, get your man. If you don't have a man, just make your mama proud, all right? Cause you won't be stressing, but you'll definitely be impressing. Mm. This is it set up. Yeah. My sister is here in the uh, Hey. I gotta go take this bowl, go start binge watching Stranger Things again. Mm -hmm. This is so good. So spicy. I like a little kick. You know, I like uh, a little kick. She's a little kick in there for a little season. It's, but not, it's not gonna it's blow you mad. It's not gonna happen. Gonna blow you it's not gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's my daughter. See? You see how much she got in here? Ain't gonna blow your mouth out. And I like just... to mix mine. I like to Ew. get burritos and uh, tortillas with lime chips. I told you. So there you go. So use those spill tips, like I said. That sausage, it must have some of a crust on it. You gotta brown some of it for that flavor. Yeah. Use the sage, and then watch how we're gonna drain those um, the water out of the rotel can. Two of uh, the rotel, two cream cheese, two sausage. There you go. Microwave is your friend. Do this taste like it's in the microwave? Mm -hmm. What you would have thought, girl? Don't no, top all day. Top all day. Maybe a crock pot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, then it looked like fancy because it's different, right? Mm -hmm. what, what would you call this white rotel? What they call it? It's called white rotel? No, but it's, it's sausage. Yeah. Dip. No, sausage. Dip. Uh, dip. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. our culture, if you know about this, say white rotel. I ain't got right. time to talk no more. I must go. Okay, I must go. I gotta go. She back over here with the peas yeah. corn.